Alrighty, welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Um, in case you're joining in, um, you have missed a bit, but don't worry, we're live on this, on our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa, and you can also just catch up on our social medias um, to see how far we've gone with our discussions on our passports and everything. But stay tuned, we still have a little bit more in store before the show runs out. Alrighty, so ahead, ahead of the anticipated um, April 25th Oscars ceremony has finally come. This thing has been moved a gazillion times, really. The Academy of Motions, Picture, Arts and Science has released a letter detailing new guidelines for the upcoming event. Among the list of guidelines is the request that all nominees attended the event in person. Isn't that crazy? According to um, media reports, nominees and guests will qualify as essential workers to attend the event in Lagos, in Los, An <laughs> in Los Angeles. That would have been nice if it was Lagos. Nominees are expected to begin arriving in the United States from April 17th through to April 20th. In addition, there will be no options for nominees to attend the live show via Zoom. Can you imagine? For those of you unable to attend due to scheduling or continued travel concerns, we want you to know that there will, be, there will not be a Zoom options to go live. We will do everything possible to provide a safe evening for all of you to enjoy in person, as well as all the millions of fans around the world. Um, and we believe that the virtual overshadows all those efforts. Okay. Those who cannot attend, the Academy will accept the Oscars on their behalf. Depending on risk assessments, all attendees, including producers, will be required to quarantine prior to the ceremony produced by Jesse Collins, Stacey Scher, and Steven Sodenberg. The ceremony will hold at the Los Angeles uh, Dolby Theatre. This is just really wild to me. Like, extremely wild. Like, hello, do you know what season we are in? We are in, like... A pandemic season, guys. So, so strange. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know if they can pull this off. I want to believe they made up your mind to pull it off. It's just a, a few um, weeks to go, maybe like two. Yes. So I think they, they made up your mind to now to do this already. And I want to believe that they have the safety measures in play. And I want to believe that they are also working along the guidelines of COVID-19 when they're making this happen as well. So is it just going to be an award ceremony for the nominees and um, the, what's it called? But my problem is, it's for people all over the world. It's hmm. not like it's just people hmm. from so America. So I'm looking at you like... Yeah, so that's my <laughs> only problem now. Hey. Now, we know the severity varies according to country to country. So it may be stronger in this country, not that hmm. strong in this country. So I don't know, but I just hope they, they're able to pull it off. It's crazy. I mean, everything else about like no pajama, no this, no that and like you know no um zoom whatever is that was not the issue for me the issue the biggest thing that for me all, is that you have to travel do you know how it is to travel just, because okay so you can cater for me at the event can't cater for me on the plane can't cater for me when can't, i get back to my country thank you can't cater for me at the airport where it's not it's not an oscar performance whatever so like it's insane. It's just really, really, really insane. I, think, I don't know I why they're doing that. I think it's also a way that. to, you know, <laughs> crowd control and all of yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. So but you see, mm. that's why I don't understand that because it felt like a cash register situation. Like, obviously, you're making it that, in, um, that difficult because you don't want pe a lot of people. Not that you don't want. It's impossible for people to mm. come through. But at the same time, you're not giving space for access to your events by cutting off Zoom as mm. well. So that means that we we'll only have TV, which is insane because um, we all have different time zones. The way the world works, we're not all going to be awake at that period of time. Mm -hmm. It sounds like they're trying to keep a unique element to the Oscars, but at the same time, I personally think that they're watering it down. Mm -hmm. I think that it's going to be a fail in, com in comparison to what the Oscars Maybe are. Sure. Like, Oscars is something like, uni we did a thesis about the, the industry, about the, um, the academy, rather. This is a long-standing hi historical thing that affects the entire world. It's not just an American thing, right? And then now you're saying that you, we're not going to... First of all, we have to travel to America, or first of, which is, like, insane. Mm. And then we cannot even use the internet. It's like, the, everybody else has done that. So why can't we log in or, or you know, have, a, have a, um, a, a YouTube live streaming, Zoom streaming, something like that to keep everybody I think, together? I think another, another point they're trying to make is, oh, if we all keep getting scared... You know, they already said that COVID is going to be... A, around like 
the way HIV came and we live with it and all of that, yes. So people are beginning to look at it that the better we start living our life the way we used to, the better for everyone, the mm. faster we start living our life. So I think that's also a message that, look, we're not going to hide from this forever. It's not all, it is always going to be there. COVID has always been there. Now it just became, you know, a pandemic and all. Yeah. So it has always been there. Yeah, so maybe for, you, for, for, for your cookouts and your friends and family, sure. But for like an entire organization that is built on the backs of like... Um, people all over the entire world giving their art and their efforts to the people like this is about like, in case people are, in case people are forgetting what the oscars is about it's about art that was created for the people mm. and it's like important art that has now been able to stand out amongst the others do you know how much content is created in a year mm. like gazillions and then for the people who have made an impact with their specific content, and now you want to cut off the entire world from that. Like The hmm. crazy part is that the Academy will collect the award for you. So I can't even send my brother in America to go you get, get my award for me. And then like, does that mean that also like people <laughs> must have had to obviously take the vaccine? Because when I saw this, yeah, I they thought... Yeah, said something about, you know, Yeah, uh, I thought quarantine. like it would only work... Because yeah. first of all, you cannot even travel... Most of since they since they've dispersed um, COVID nineteen vaccines, mm -hmm. that's been the new update now. Before it was COVID test, mm -hmm. now you have to have um, a, a vaccine. So have that you, means have you registered for you? No, I haven't. You're not um, going to take it. I will. I will. Okay. Just not. I have other things in my mind right now. Okay. I'll let everybody take it so that I can be safe. <laughs> okay. I'll take when I'm ready. Um, but um, what's it called? You know, not every country has. Um, done a good job in terms of. Oh, no, I'm not saying done a good job, but has finished dispersing. COVID-19 vaccines to all their, can you know, all their civilians and everything. So it should, it just seems like a lot to ask for, really. Like, well, it is, but let's see how it plays out. I want to believe that they would, they have something up their sleeves that we probably don't know about. Yeah, so it just sounds very ostracizing. Like, obviously, they have people that that they need to attend that can attend, and they're good with that. So that's mm. that's the vibe I'm getting. Mm -hmm. That's the vibe I'm getting. But anyway, okay, let's move on. When Kim Kardashian West was first mentioned in the pages of Forbes in 2011, it was simply a tally of her Twitter followers, which was 6.6 .6 million, just below Barack Obama and just above Ashton Kutcher. Five years later, she graced the cover of Forbes, thanking her for th thanks to her for booming mobile game. I don't know if you remember that game, um, which helped her to earn 51 million dollars that year. Now, in 2021, she officially joins the world's billionaires list for the first time. Forbes estimates that Kardashian West is now worth one billion dollars up from 780 million in october of last year thanks to two lucrative businesses kkw beauty and skims as well as cash from her reality television and endorsement deals and a number of smaller investments kardashian west founded kkw beauty in 2017 following the success of her half-sister kylie jenner's kylie cosmetics she borrowed from kylie's playbook using a similar direct-to-consumer model that relieves heavily that relies heavily, sorry, on social media marketing. For um, her first launch, th 300,000 contour kits sold out within two hours. Shall I say that again? <laughs> By 2018, the business had expanded into eyeshadows, concealers, lipsticks, fragrances, and was bringing in about $100 million in revenue. And I quote, this is from her, it is the first time I've moved away from having licensing deals and transitioned into being an owner, Kardashian West told Forbes in 2017 when she announced her cosmetic line. She's cashed in on that ownership last year, this is 2020, when she, was so, when she sold 20% of KKW Beauties to cosmetics conglomerate Corti for $200 million, a deal that valued the company at $1 billion. While Forbes estimates that figure is a little bloated, Cotty, which were also bought 51% of Kylie Cosmetics in 2020, is known for overpaying her remaining 72% um, stake and is still worth about $500 million. Amazing. Okay. Well, what I really like OPP. about this is um, the businesses that she did herself is what landed her here. So apart from all the shares from Amazon, Netflix, and all those other stuff, 
you know, she's still putting the work by herself. And then it's actually the company she started using, the Kardashian name, the Kardashian brand, that really put her there. So it's, there's, there's really no confusion here on, like, when it was Kylie and we're wondering that, oh, what is she doing? She said she was self-made and we had that back and forth. So there's really no confusion. It was here. Yeah, but I don't know if, if you saw her um, uh, um, husband's um, reaction to this. Mm -mm. Oh, so he has reacted about how proud he is. Um, and um, he said, so I made you, this is life. Hashtag, so I made you, this is life. Hashtag. What does that mean? <laughs> he made her. <laughs> like, he said, he's is so he proud, joking? like he's done this, um, she's done this, she's done. And then he actually said, so I made you, this still life. So blessed, this is still life. So I made you, this still life. So that, you know, the fourth line, or what's it called? So now? I made you, this still life. He's mad. Because that's what you're trying to say. So I made you. So you, you're down the fog's lead. But I like it too that both of them are now billionaires. Kanye West, the billionaire, hmm. the wife. That's a, that's couple goals See for me. Eh. Couple goals. See eh. Yeah, your wife billionaires. Huh. Hey, they well, shouldn't even try to. Not married anymore. Well, they haven't divorced officially. Have yeah. They? Mm. Uh, okay. No, they haven't. Uh, he still said my wife. He still referred to her as my oh, wife. Yeah, now we've heard. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so. If there's anyone that I believe deserves, owns this millionaire thing, it's Kim Kardashian. So when no, they I'm first sorry. started... That's very disrespectful. Billionaire. Ah! It's good. Oh, Correct yourself. Billionaire, because there's a massive difference. Ma, eh? ma. As in massive. Ma, ma. <laughs> because if you know the Kim Kada the Kardashian family... When the dad was even alive, they were wealthy, but it mm. was just bare. It was in the same level as Paris Hilton, as them, the other, you know, just, just average. Yeah. As in, yeah, it was, as in, in comparison to where she has built this family too. Even when the Kardashian um, thing started ages ago, Kim Kardashian was their gold mine. She, for some reason, was able to put structure into this reality TV influencer thing mm. in a way that nobody else could have. I will give, if I'm going to give anybody credit to Kim Kardashian, I will give um, Chris the mother. Because together, they made themselves, they, they found a way to make this loose, jokey, unserious industry into a multi-million. Mm. Nobody has done that before. Nobody. There was, uh, and, and after the Kardashians, after Kim was able mm. to successfully do this thing well, then we had a series of other people coming out to do, keeping up with this and keeping up with that. Mm. She was the first person to do that. Even Kylie Jenner. If Kylie wasn't associated to Kim Kardashian's um, hype that they have created, that entire mm. family, it would have been very hard for her to even achieve what, what she's been able to achieve mm. and stuff. So kudos to them. And I think kudos to Chris as well, because I know Chris handles... Chris is actually Chris the handles it. I'm telling you, like, she's the billionaire mind as well. But I think that she, um, Kim Kardashian is one of the most heavily slept on people because of the way she um, started with the whole sex tape and everything. I think people use small eyes to look at her. And that small eyes is exactly what she monetized mm -hmm. on to be where she is. I'm going to say it again, even um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Kanye's push to billionaire world had a big um, part to play because she added him to this billionaire company that has pushed her to, um, what's it called? the billionaire space as well. So, so what are you saying? That she made him? No, instead? I don't think she made him. Kanye West has been doing, has been Kanye West before we knew who Kim Kardashian was, in my opinion. I don't know about anybody else, but I knew who Kanye was, who Kanye was way before Kim Kardashian. But I'm saying that this particular... Mm, did we now? I think I did. I knew Jesus walks before keeping up with the Kardashians. No, it's not just about keeping up with the Kardashians. You're talking about Ray J time. Did we? Ray J time. Who was Kim? Who was Kim? Wait, there? wait, wait. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. <laughs> okay, I'll give you. Well, I don't know. Go on. I go think on. he. We'll check it he, out. It's mostly so insulting. This guy had like, Kanye um, Kanye had a proper um, profession. He was doing well in the music space a long Before time ago. She Kim was. She Kim, Kim was a, one of the five girls okay. in a big family. Uh, not the same. Uh -huh. um, but she built herself up, no, no doubt. What I'm saying is, like, even when we did a breakdown of, of, of um, Kanye's um, Forbes list, whatever, whatever, the fact that he was able to own a part of, what's her name, Skims now, which is Kim Kardashian's um, business line, pushed him into that billion whatever as well. Mm. So I think that that's, that's just to show how powerful um, Kim Kardashian has become in terms of creating 
an empire really don't we've gone past brand now we've come mm. we've gone past brand and just products but into a billion dollar empire and so right. so i'm really really happy for her i think she's very like she deserves that thing a lot she's seen her fair share of backlash of um you know just being hated upon there are too many people that are against her and what she stands for mm -hmm. which is a different conversation i'm not trying to say that i i'm with it or i'm not with it but the fact that she's had her own yeah, I'm with the and, i don't care what you think and tribulations no just because you're a doesn't know i'm with you but i like what she's doing and i think that this is just the beginning because she's so far been able to sit on the throne of um reality tv shows of cosmetics and fashion, but we haven't even seen what she's capable of doing in the law space. Yeah, I'm, and I'm I think that when that, that when that happens, this lady would be basically unstoppable. And whether or not somebody wants to make her, make him, Kanye, whatever, whatever, I think there's a lot that you can you can you can learn from. from yes, Kim. definitely. And I'm looking for like I like the fact you touched on that because I was going to talk about it. That um, you know she's actually training to be a lawyer so she's not stopping this is the self-development i think we're talking about when we're talking about the copy story that no matter what exactly. you do try this room for improvement there's room for exactly. you to grow and yes yeah, so i love what she's doing with herself yeah. so from the way she was perceived with the old ray j thing and to where she is now yeah. is a massive growth yeah and i'm really happy so there's really her. nothing that can stop you and to the sisters as well i think they should start to really plug themselves in and get you know why, why not make two three more billionaires from the family you know yeah. i'm talking we're working on it but anyway guys that is all that we can take on this episode unfortunately but thank you so much for watching join the conversation on social media with the hashtag tea time or twitter at us at plus tv africa remember that you can catch up on all of our previous episodes including this one and all of our exclusive content by subscribing to our youtube channel at plus tv africa you can also watch tea time on r2 tv and in london on ben television a big thank you go out to my namesake and koanko if you yes, yes, for sir. keeping it absolutely jiggy and the entire production team thank you for watching my name remains if your favorite i know Thank you.